True story. This happened a couple of years back. One guy, openly gay and flamboyant. The other guy, a football player with a girlfriend. A couple of years later, both guys walk separately into a gay bar in West Hollywood, California. The openly gay guy walks in with confidence and surety. The other guy walks in and sees the other guy in the bar and doesn't want to be seen by him, so he avoids eye contact with them. Because if he finds out, he's going to know he's gay. The football player was me. And remembering this story and telling you it, it seems so foreign to me that I was once that scared of being found out that I was gay. It's Thursday. Welcome to the Fab Five Collab. I'm your host, Chris, a.k.a. Papanico. That's with two P's and two K's. And you can find my information in the description. And also the other members of our team are linked in the description. This week's serious topic is coming out. There's no right time to come out. It's not when you're 10, 20, 40, or 60 years old. Whenever you're ready, you're ready. And you'll know exactly when the right time is for you. The first thing you have to do is be comfortable with yourself and your sexuality. Because if you're not comfortable with yourself, how would you expect others to be comfortable with you? If you're financially dependent on someone, like parents or perhaps a guardian, it could be a very risky thing to come out. If you're married and or have kids, your life certainly is going to change when you come out. The best advice I can give is to tell a friend, a friend, a close friend that you have, and once you tell that friend, tell a couple more, and then a couple more, and perhaps maybe even telling if you have a gay relative. To speak with them. These small steps will help you build confidence and help to the ultimate thing of coming out either to your family, to your parents, or whatever the case may be. I remember when I came out a couple years ago, well, no, I'm sorry. I remember when I came out to my best friend who was and is straight. His family was involved in Hollywood, so he was exposed to a little more liberal and different ideas than most people. So I felt comfortable. Well, I didn't really feel comfortable. I was scared. Scared of his reaction. But if I didn't come out to him, he wouldn't know the true me. And we wouldn't be able to grow as, as friends. And if he didn't really like me for being gay, then you know what? He's not really a, that good a friend. I asked him a question if he was dating any girls. He said, no. Are you? I said, no, but I'm dating a guy. That, that was my way of coming out to him, and in my mind, that was the easiest way to do it. After I did tell him, he was fine with it and said, oh, really? Oh, okay. It was no, no big deal. Now, if his reaction was different, I'm not sure how it, it, else it would have gone. When you come out to people, the people you come out to may need time to process what you've just told them. Don't expect them to immediately say, oh, okay, and go. They might need some time to think about it. Give them their space and come back and check in with them at a later time or date. Be prepared for questions. And some questions might be a little inappropriate, but you might get those. Coming out is one of the hardest things you will do in your life. But it's also one of the most rewarding things because you don't have to lie or hide anymore. You're free. Be prepared for negative comments once you come out very nasty negative comments and some of the friends that you thought were your friends might not be your friends and family sometimes family will react differently any negative comments you do get though be sure not to internalize them keep them outside as i like to think of it keep a box outside in front any negative comments negative energy put those in that box Remain calm, put those negative comments in that box. Then once the conversation is over, take this box and throw it over your shoulder. This symbolizes moving on, that what just happened is in the past. Don't internalize it, because then if you internalize that negative energy, that hate, whatever it is, it's not good for you. It really isn't. 
try and stay as positive as you can. Don't evaluate your self-worth on other people's reaction. Everyone reacts differently. We want them to act a certain way, but they don't always do. Don't come out during the holidays or a family function, like a wedding, like a family reunion. Those times are already difficult. Now, if they see you with the waiter in the bathroom or your cousin's friend, you might have to don't don't come out don't come out during the holiday. One on one is really best by yourself with whoever you're coming out to. That's really the best thing. Come out by yourself. If you have a partner, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, leave them at home. If you bring them along when you come out. The person you're coming out to might blame your partner for you being gay. Don't come out while being intoxicated or under the influence of any other substance. And that goes for you, the coming out or, as well as the coming out E. E er, E er, E er. That goes for you, as well as the person you're coming out to. Don't come out angry because you might say things you regret. Never come out to someone while you're in a motor vehicle. It could cause a crash. Do search the internet and YouTube. Not everyone, everything is going to answer all your questions, but perhaps you can mix and match, piecemeal kind of thing, and get an answer that might work or help you on your journey. When I came out, we didn't have the internet. Guys. You know, back in my day, we didn't have this fancy dancy thing called the World Wide Web. No, but really, we didn't. We didn't have it. So, it was reading newspapers, and that was about it. Maybe going out to bars at the time. So, take advantage of this wonderful resource. In my mother's generation, people didn't come out. If you were gay, you went to the priesthood. But it just goes to show you things progress as they go along. And it gets better. I truly hope in the years to come that this video will become a relic. Obsolete. Irrelevant. Is there another adjective I could put in there? I really hope people look back and say, wow. People really had that big a hang-up about somebody for just being gay? Alright, it's time to wrap this thing up and bring it home. Things to keep in mind are what country you're in. If you're in a country, some countries, for being gay, you can be sentenced to death or even talking about being gay. And a lot of other things you need to consider. You also need to take into consideration what part of the country you're from. Some parts of the country are more liberal than others, so that might affect your decision to come out. Also, what religion the person it is you're coming out to, if any. Some religions think homosexuality, being gay, is a sin and an abomination. Also, are you financially stable enough to go at it on your own? What's your plan B? What's your plan C? You need to be thinking ahead before you actually do come out. Make sure you have a support network in line before you do come out. The most important thing to remember is be safe. Don't do anything that's going to jeopardize your safety or your life just to come out. Just remember, without a doubt, you've got a friend. And that's me. I wish you all the best. Good luck on your journey. Let me know what's happening. If you have any other recommendations for coming out, please comment. And I'd be more than happy to engage. 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 I'd be more than. I would love to engage. Engage. Here we go again. If you have any other suggestions, please comment in the section, the comment section, and I would love to interact and engage with you, whoever you are. 
would love to intergage, intergage. I would love to interact and intergage. That's a new word. Interact, engage, interact. I would love to interact and engage with you. Peace and hugs. I wish you all the best. Until next time, Papa Nico.